Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the remaining month of June reads start from the 22nd through the 30th of June 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aries and uh, let's see what is coming up for Aries for the remaining month time. I will be adding uh, messages from your person. I will also be adding uh, color cards and oracle cards in this read. So stick around and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So yeah, let's see what is coming up for you for the remaining month time. Aries, let's see. Wow, we do have two cards here, Five of Souls and the Sun. I feel like, you know, some beautiful changes are coming ahead for you uh, as a result of you taking some major uh, steps towards uh, bettering yourself up. Um, you are getting rid of uh, mental, physical, emotional blocks, which is, again, opening up new doors for you to abundance, uh, be that in love, work, or home life situation. If you had uh, been having some issues with your uh, finances, workplace, um, I feel like you will be working towards your, you know, uh, bettering your skills up so you could be appreciated and, uh, you know, admired by people at work front. So I do see that, you know, people are going to value you, admire you and now uh, in love and in work as well. So let's see what else is happening here for you for the remaining month time. What else can you expect? Let's see. Five of Pentacles. Again, you might be facing some sort of challenges right now, um, but these challenges are not going to last forever. So this is something which is going to end. So um, try to try not to keep yourself stuck in here. Then we do have the Ace of Wands, um, Knight of uh, Page of Pentacles. Now for some of you, you might be switching your job. Or you're going to feel like um, you are an outsider being in that new position, new company, new uh, organization. Um, trust me, you are not going to be staying uh, an outsider for long. Your dedication, your hard work, your passion is going to make you feel like uh, like uh, like you belong to that place. So don't feel that you are outside or something in any way because I feel like you know they will be appreciating your passion towards you know um, exploring your own talents and adding some value to their their organization. So I feel like you know there will be something which is uh, like that in happening in your in your work front for sure for for sure for some of you. Uh, when it comes to your love life situation. Um, I feel like maybe right now things might seem that you know you are not appreciated you are not wanted you are not feeling good you might feel like you are always ignored your person doesn't want you your person feel like you know uh, make you feel bad but this is also going to change this energy that you are experiencing right now it's not gonna last forever it's gonna change for some of you you are already in that zone where you have better yourself up to the point where you know you are confident in yourself where you're not chasing that person who made you feel bad you're feeling confident in yourself you're feeling like you know you are lovable and that's going to bring the same very person back to you because they are going to acknowledge your passion that you showed to them now after they have lost you so i do see that you know um somebody might be coming back to you uh but that's going to confuse you for for some for majority of you because they have disappointed you in the past making you feel unworthy but now they want you back and now they want you to be like you know give them what they wanted uh, or give them what they want now would you give them what they want now because i feel like you know for majority of you you will be having your guards up you would not be giving into this uh, connection to them again when it comes to a love life situation i really feel a different energy coming from your end but when it comes to your work life situation i do see you rising above you know all the mental blocks that you've created around it and you're going to feel like you know you're going to fight for your position you're going to fight for your passion that you have for this uh, you know our work that you do for living i feel like you know you're, you're not going to disappoint yourself or them when it comes to your work life but when it comes to your your love life situation i really do see that you're not going to be like letting this person treat you bad now you're not going to be like you know giving into the connection to them until or unless they give in to you as well so i really see you having a guard up 
around this person around this relationship situation you're not gonna let this person back in your life for so easy you don't want them back you don't want them to be like you know getting in your life confuse you up all over again you really want your life to be stable so if this person can add some stability or some add some value to your life you would let this person in but for majority if you're gonna be like and telling them no I don't want you back you know I don't want you to be like you know um disrupting my inner peace again so I feel like you know they will be returning back to you um the one who ignored you, neglected you, they will be returning to you. But at the same time, I really see you having your guards up against that person. Um, this person... Um, wow. This person really wants to have something uh, stable to offer. But initially i really don't see that they will be having something stable to offer like when they return when they talk when they communicate to you they are going to be like you know confusing you again for for what they have to offer to you but when you don't take that offer then they will open up to the idea of taking things next level with you the way you desire so you choose what you want with them not them choose what they want with you this time around so let's see the oracle guidance for you right now what is it that you want um uh that you that you want to know right now what is that oracle the divine messages that you need to know right now we have two cards here uh you are doing something wrong i feel like you know, for majority of you you are letting this person treat you wrong and you are letting that happen over and over again you got to stop it god will lead the way make make sure you, you take stand for yourself don't let this person choose uh you know uh choose what they want to do with you you choose what you want with them proud of you you have to be proud of you and time to move on i feel like you know it's very important for you to move on and uh, follow your passion for your life right now instead of following this person because you are loved you will be loved you just have to know your value here you always rock third party situation could be also affecting your love life right now mutual understanding is needed which is missing seems like missing here so again i really feel like you know it's high time that you stand tall for yourself for your beliefs around your love life uh, around your uh, around your self-worth as well and now uh, that's how you go about it so let's see what is it that your person really wishes to say to you what is it that they want to say to you what is it that they want to say to you what is it what is it what is it one two three four and five messages let's see what do they have to say to you we both are stubborn so this person really believes that you both are stubborn here all you want is commitment so this person is like all you want is commitment you never understand me you never understand my situation this and that there could be how uh, their family issues also like which could be the reason why they are not giving in but you are tired of it i end like shady people they want you to trust them you always push the wrong buttons you always pick a fight with them for not giving into the connection that's what they you know blame uh, you for you were the best thing in my life so they do miss you there uh, I know I was a distraction from your pain so this person is like you know coming at you right now and I feel like you know this person really believes that you are you know uh, they, they can see you leaving them is what I'm picking up with their uh, messages here it seems like you know they can sense that uh, they might lose you which they cannot risk and that they are like you know they, they are basically coming at you basically so let's see what color is going to be lucky for you for the remaining month time gold attract abundance and i feel like you know you are going to attract a lot of abundance as you uh value yourself and acknowledge yourself for there and take the steps that were needed to take back in times as well leave the situation behind if that person is making you feel unworthy and as you do that they will rush uh you know uh, wanting you back so let's see the last oracle card of this read is light so what it says is the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness i feel like you know you can definitely love this person you can definitely you have always been a pure soul and the divine really wants you to love and uh, spread the light that you have from within and uh, if this person comes in with a pure intention uh like i said i do see that that that, that they will offer you the pure in, you know uh, what they truly want from deep within which they are not showing up right now they will when you take stand for yourself they will they will have to otherwise they will lose you and that's something that they can never risk so if you really want to um 
you know get what you want what you desire you can always fill this person heart with the with the with love and passion for you enough where they would take the steps that they were not ready to take so um yeah i do see things will change in this connection for the two of you but yes uh, there are certain um you know um steps that are needed for for you to take uh and the first of all would be um you taking uh you know the the power in your hands again because uh, you might have been giving a lot into this connection and uh, this person is uh, not giving you the right amount of uh, love care and uh, effort into this connection that you resolve so yeah uh that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh remaining month of uh, june time if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next week for you guys take care bye